founder of The Reconnection, Dr. Eric Pearl, also joining us, Michael Klein and Sarla Bronzel. They both attended Dr. Pearl's seminar this weekend. All right, I'm going to start with you, Michael. Uh, when you heard about this seminar, what got you down there? I was only there in support of my fiance. I, I reluctantly came down. Because <laughs> it was your fiance. The wife, you might have said, you go, honey, I'm not going to go, but because R you're still, right. yeah, still uh -huh. working it. Yeah, so, still, yeah. still working it. <laughs> okay, so when you went down there, what were you told this was going to be? Uh, not not much, just that it's a type of healing. Uh, it's something that she's been practicing, a book that she had read, and so she was go going to come down to Houston, and it said, look, if, you, if I pay for your flight, would you come down with me? And I said, fine, <laughs> if you pay for it. The, ho the hotel's already paid for I'll go with you. So. All right, Dr. Pearl, you see skeptics all the time. You welcome skeptics. Oh, absolutely. You know, for once you... I started off not believing what was going on to me. So once you overcome your own skepticism, nobody else's, bless you, Michael, yeah. nobody else's yeah. really matters. Okay, so Michael, what happened? Well, I, um, I'm a front row kind of person, sat mm -hmm. in the front, because I really wanted to see if this was true. Yeah, did you sit there like this, though? Oh, yes. Yeah. Your, yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. 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 My body language yeah. was very much like that, the whole time, you know. And so he had asked for someone who had an ailment or an illness that was a uh, long time type of thing, and mm -hmm. so ultimately, he, uh, uh, he picked uh, Sarla to go up yeah. and... And Sarla, you are a medical doctor? Yes, I am. All right, so what do you think about stuff like this? We certainly know that with a lot of medical doctors, it's the science, you know, and they, it's the touch it, feel it yes. science. Yes, But at the same time, you're Indian of origin, yes. and we know that in Eastern medicine and thinking that it's, it's much more open to something like this. Yes, there are many possibilities, and I'm extremely open to all kinds of, you know, anything, you know. Okay. So what happened between you two? Well, I was, I, I was sitting on another side of, on Friday night. I was sitting in the middle and he was sitting, I didn't even know he was sitting on the left side. And uh, Eric asked, is there anybody who has a problem with the shoulders? And there were like three different people, one, two, three, and they showed and uh, they really weren't that involved. It wasn't so, that severe of a problem. I said, yours is so easy. I want someone who's had something for a long time, has medical history and background. And yeah. Sarla raised her hand. Well, I actually did not raise my hand. I couldn't. told the lady <laughs> next to me, I said, I got severe problem. And she pushed my elbow and my hand went up. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, we have friends like that. But the thing is, you couldn't raise your hand because of the injury that you had. Yes. She had um, an overgrown bone in one arm creating problems with the joint and the other arm for 17 years in the other arm she'd been in an automobile accident so her arms if she were on a clock couldn't go up past what would look like 20 minutes after eight what had you tried before to try and address that okay uh, i have had um, ther physical therapy uh, on my right arm about 17 years ago about six months i mean three months and then i start doing it at home like once or twice yeah. a week. But you still couldn't raise your arms any higher than uh, no. midway. I mean, I could twist something and get something done overhead, but I could not do it, you know. Okay, so what happened? Way. Then the other side, you know, I had a full thickness tear in a wreck. Yeah. And I had therapy for three months, physical therapy. Still couldn't no do surgery. No, she couldn't do it. Right, so and Dr. she's Pearl. A, medical back, a medical doctor by right. background. She was unable to raise her arms. So I said, all right, you want to play? Come on up. So she came up and sat down on the stage. Then I said to the audience, who here has never practiced any form of healing, hasn't read the book, The Reconnection, has no interest in it? And I see this guy, Michael, in the front going, <laughs> he goes like this. He goes, I said, come here. <laughs> so he looks at me, rolls his eyes a little. He comes up because he just wanted, you just wanted to play with it. And I said, come here, let me show you how to feel this. And I showed him how to feel it in his hands and play with it. And I said, I know, Sarla, you think that I'm going to do a healing on you, but I'm not. I'm going to let Michael play with your fingers for a little bit. So Michael began to play with her fingers. Do, do what you were doing. Okay. So uh, he made me raise my hand uh -huh. and spread out my fingers. Right. And I had no clue what this meant. What was he doing to my hand? So I was <laughs> like, OK, whatever. And, so um, I just put my fingers in, in a relaxed state, and, and he asked me to just kind of feel and start to pull away. And as I did, my thumb twitched, and her and thumb Sarla's twitched. And Sarla's fingers began to move like that. So Michael pulled further out, and watch how Sarla's finger movement becomes larger. So what I said after a minute or two of this to Sarla, I said, and Michael, I said, Michael was just playing with your fingers. 
before he actually works on your shoulder. So I took all mind over matter out of it, all positive yeah. thoughts out of it. I said, you didn't do it yet. Before he actually works on your shoulders, will you please remind him how high your arms go? And Sarla then did this. And you know, in the beginning when he asked me, I could only do this much and there yeah. was pain at the end of that motion. Right. And so I said, well, I don't know, whatever he's asking, and I could do all the way up. And that's what you could not do that before? 17 years. No, for a long time. Okay, yes. I got to ask you, what do you think about this, being a medical doctor, and you know all that you went through and just couldn't do it for 17 years? What do you think about what just happened here? Well, you know, I do think there was, you know, if Eric had done it, I know he's been doing it for a long time. Right. But this skeptic, just coming out and doing this, it's really, you know, like there is an energy. I could feel the energy. I could feel the tingling and I could feel heat in this. And I have very cold hands. Yeah. So I could feel the heat in my hand and I knew there was something happening but I couldn't understand yeah. what. But when I could do that and the other thing I really did not mention earlier was that I had a severe back problem since 2001. And on Saturday night, I've been taking a pillow under my knees. I always have to take a pillow. And so when we were doing some things in the seminar, uh, I was going to say, hey, I want a pillow. And then I did that and I could do, I could stretch my legs flat on right, the so table. Michael, and now there she you go, you're a healer. Yeah. You're, so, well, I said, so don't leave you me think? now, just stay well, with me. Right, I, I was <laughs> literally just going to walk around and explore Houston all weekend and, and stayed for the seminar and, and experienced what this is. So. Uh, he didn't turn me around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of open your eyes and things. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to take your questions. If you have any questions for Dr. Pearl, and also just kind of see if there's anyone in the audience you might want to try to work with here. All right, we'll be right back.